Hi my friend, my name is Marco and I am doing a video over chlorine vapor sterilization method for orchid seed sowing uh, over the request of uh, Mariah of my orchid adventures. Hi Mariah. I try to be um, very 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 um, simple in explanation. This is my very first video so uh, forgive me but uh, I'm uh, not used to it. So, what we need for sowing orchid seed? Of course, we need uh, a media with uh, sterilized agar and nutrients inside. And when you have already pre-sterilized the agar uh, with the media, we have to uh, put the seeds the orchid seeds, of course you have to have orchid seeds, uh, this is my collection of orchid seeds, uh, that uh, it is best if they are uh, fresh, uh, the fresher the better. Um, we have to put the, the seeds inside the jar and do uh, after this a sterilization process because we open the cup and when we open the cup uh, natural air can flow inside but thanks to this method I'm explaining it now we can sterilize the the interior of the jar after we have uh, uh, put inside the seat and we not we don't have to worry to open the cup because that is like uh, um, doing that uh, uh, before we sterilize the, the inside. Uh, so how can we sterilize the inside after that we have opened the cup? Because when we open the cup, uh, everything that is in the air fall inside. And if you don't sterilize further the, the jar, molds and, uh, and bacteria can grow faster than our seeds. So our goal is to sterilize the seeds inside with all the air inside. When we have uh, to, to close the, the cup, we want to have a sterile environment inside the jar so that uh, this allows the, the seeds to grow, to grow on the media we have already prepared. If you don't sterilize well, you can always grow molds and that is uh, what uh, most people think it's very difficult to obtain a sterile environment inside the flask without an equipment that is uh, that of uh, uh, laboratories like uh, laminar fluids or, or even uh, grow, uh, grow boxes. And uh, we have to proceed in, uh, in a way that is uh, quite uh, simple at last. So I now pour the hydrogen peroxide that is inside the, the vessel. And let it drop out. Now, I take my orchid seeds and place them inside the vessel. Now we have the seeds inside. I don't know if I can focus it. But what the cam is not able to to make visible are tiny seeds. Maybe closer, it's better. There are tiny seeds inside the vessel. I try to 
to fruit the seeds that are so tiny that uh, are very um, easily dispersed by the wind that is uh, why uh, they are so tiny now what we have to do now all, all is open and this isn't sterile anymore because the air contains contaminants so in order to make this environment sterile again we have to put a cling film over the jar but before putting it we have to be sure to make an hole inside the cling film and to sterilize both sides of the cling film now I have the, the cling film over my my hands I make a little pinch here just to make a hole not huge because we have to cover it later on with um, with a cotton disc of um, the makeup so now I place the clean film over a surface that uh, allows me to spray a little bit of alcohol and of course this is my first video so I can do mistakes but let's try again what I have to do is spray the alcohol over the surface and do that on the other side as well Now, <coughs> this better I don't cook, sorry. Now we put the film over the flask. This one. Now we have to um, utilize the disc of cotton. We soak a little bit, not much, disc inside the, the bletch this way and let excess of uh, the bleach to, to go out because we don't want it to be droopy of, uh, of bleach inside the vessel just a little bit we can even squeeze it because the bleach is enough for sterilize the, the vessel the cup Now you have to be careful to put it over the hole that we have done and it is better if we leave a little bit of uh, the, the cotton by the side because we have to put a second layer of clean film this uh, uh, cotton uh, 
wohl. So, we repeat the process. This time, we only need to sterilize the surface we are going to put over the other film. And so it is. So now I place the second layer of film over This is basically when the sterilization process starts because the vapors inside uh, the chlorine from the hole get into the vessel and sterilize seeds and everything inside but we can leave this for uh, a maximum of four hours I suggest because a longer period of uh, exposures to the vapor can kill the seeds and we don't want to kill the seeds so after that period, now I only show it, we have to be careful to do this um, very slowly. The very important thing is now I have to remove the, the cotton and so I will the, the forceps and this is why I've put it by the side because I want to put my hand over the, the top of the film to prevent further air to go inside the, the vessel now I'm showing you uh, it right now just for let you have an idea of uh, how I do, but remember that we have to leave uh, the, the cotton for at last uh, three to five hours to sterilize the whole thing inside, including the seeds. Now I put my hand and I can slowly slip the cotton slowly 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 this is the very important thing because after that I have closed the top without letting any hair enter and this is when you need a little, little bit of practice in doing it because uh, at first it can be tricky to extract the cotton uh, ball uh, drenched with, uh, with bleach. If we don't uh, get that out of the top, the, the amount of uh, chlorine that uh, sterilizes the seed is too much. So remember, now I have done that uh, just for let you see. You have to leave the cotton ball uh, four hours and uh, at the end of the four hours, extract the cotton. Once you have done that, you can simply uh, close uh, the, the jar, label it uh, with, uh, with a, a marker. The better is in the label marker. Now I want to label it to just let you see, I have sewn Encyclia
Maria. In honor of my friend Maria, <laughs> and uh, that requested this video, and I wanted to to, to show Encyclia Maria, and so uh, we put the date. The date today is uh, the the fifteenth of November, two thousand. 18 and the fourth okay after we close the the jar is to cut all the the other um, cling film that we don't need and put it in a in a warm place that is lit with uh, with a lamp not in direct sun but uh, with a lamp for uh, 16 uh, hours a day and uh, uh, with uh, around 23-25 uh, uh, degrees of, uh, of temperature in a constant environment. We can have uh, germination uh, depending on the, the freshness of the seed uh, and also on the species in a different time but remember uh, as i told uh, to mariah never ever give up because look this there are seeds inside that are starting to swell right now and they have done this so on the 22 of uh, september 2015 so uh, this time they take uh, really a lot and I I didn't uh, even believe my eyes when I have seen that they were starting to swell because uh, I have uh, been very 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 surprised so never ever give up on the timing divine timing is uh, at place when we sow seed and even when we sow our intention whatever intention needs divine time. So lots of love to you all and uh, have uh, a most nice uh, uh, orchid adventures with Mariah. And I hope Mariah that you have uh, understood the process and that you will be able to have uh, tons of your beautiful Wanda crosses. Lots of love and kisses.